Hi YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this tutorial, I'm gonna get right to the point. I'm gonna be trying out a new furniture stripping product. Now I've been frustrated because I've been working on this antique buffet that I wanna strip the drawers and the front of the cabinet doors on this piece and the finish is really stubborn and this is the type of wood that I would particularly not want to sand with a sander. It's probably going to rip through the veneer. So I'm looking for a good furniture stripper. So we're going to try out this new product together and see how I like it. So let's get over to my workshop. Okay guys, check out this amazing antique sideboard behind me. This thing is gorgeous. So my vision with this piece, I want to highlight some of the natural wood, but I also want to modernize it just a little bit. So I'm going to be keeping, I mean, look at this. I took a cabinet door off already. Let me give you a close up of this. I mean, this is gorgeous, gorgeous wood. Now you can see this would be really tough to get an orbital sander, even like my flat rectangular sander into all of this area. And so what I've been using thus far, and it's not really working, which I'm really surprised. So here's one thing when it comes to refinishing furniture. Sometimes something that you've used, a product that you've used on another piece of furniture, just doesn't cut it with another piece of furniture. And it can simply be the wood type, but it's more often not, it's the finish that was originally put on this piece. It's really stubborn and it's really thick. Now, if this was me prior, all these years of knowledge that I have now, I probably would have taken a sander to this. And what it would have happened is, is I probably would have ripped the veneer. I can tell this is veneer. You can see it's cut in quarter panels. There's a line going down here and then it goes across here, down here. So here's a little panel, here's a panel, here's a panel, and here's a panel. That's how I know it's been veneered. Sometimes people think veneer means cheap. It doesn't, and that's a whole nother video. But so you have to be very careful with veneer. A lot of people that are just starting out with refinishing furniture, they'll burn through veneer. They'll take an orbital sander or a mouse sander, something like that, and they'll take it to the wood and it'll go right through. And once you burn through veneer, there's no coming back. Well, there kind of is. You can repair veneer, but that's another level of expertise. So when it comes to veneer, you just gotta be really careful because it's very thin. So. To get to my point where I am today, I have tried two different products that have you worked on previous product uh, projects. The first one being acetone. Acetone is great for removing paint on wood. Um, it's great with stripping shellac. I've had good success with it. And with all these products that I'm bringing up to you right now, Please keep in mind a lot of safety measures here. I should probably said this at the beginning. You need to work in a well-ventilated area. If it's nice outside, I live in New Hampshire. I'll work outside or I have an enclosed trailer that I'll keep open and I'll work out of that. Um, make sure you work in a very well-ventilated area. Wear appropriate gloves. I have these heavy-duty gloves that I use also wear a mask, okay? So just keep that in mind when working with stripping products. You've gotta keep yourself safe. Um, the next product that I tried using on getting this furnish, or getting this finish off, was denatured alcohol. I don't use this a lot. I use acetone more than I use this. But I tried this, and this kinda worked. But this finish is super thick on this piece. So, I did some Googling and some more Googling and I came across this product. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Safenol Paint and Urethane Stripper. It's by Blue Bear. And it was on sale at my local Ace Hardware for only $8. Normally a quart of it runs $15.99, but everything that I read online, people have had great success with removing lots of products from wood, but mainly like a poly or a urethane finish People have had really good luck stripping a piece of furniture with it. So I thought, you know what? Let's go for it, see how well it works. Real quick before we begin. Um, there is another product that I used to use. It was by Clean Strip. It is a furniture stripper and it's an aerosol can and I would get it like at Lowe's or Home Depot. And the last two times I bought it, the cans were like defective. 
each time the nozzle would clog super easily, like after a few minutes of spraying it. And it's not cheap, it's like 18 bucks a can. And I was like, forget this, I need to find a new product. So that's what I used to use and I really liked it because it would work fast within like 15 minutes, I was able to start stripping pieces. So I'm kind of at a loss. So clean strip, um, anybody else having that issue? Um, let me know, I'd love to know in the comment section. So we're gonna begin, I'm gonna get my hair up and I'm gonna get my stuff on and we're gonna get applying this new product. Okay guys, the first drawer that we're gonna put on is this big drawer, it's nice and flat. You can see, do you see where it's still giving you a reflection? That's where there is finish still left on this drawer and I just, I just can't get it off and I don't wanna sand it off. So this is the first drawer that we're gonna try this new product on. I'm gonna put it on a time-lapse video and you're gonna watch me get to work. Okay, you guys are going to see right here in this time lapse, I'm applying this directly on the piece of furniture and I'm using a cheap two inch chip brush. Okay guys, let's talk about my first impressions. I just put this on a few moments ago. The first thing I'm noticing, this product has hardly any smell, which is crazy to me because usually with any type of furniture stripper, you're gonna have a really strong odor. Oops, I need to get the edges here. Um, and this does not have, <laughs> like I'm right, my nose is right here. I'm not smelling anything. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was reading the back of the bottle, which I do wanna read to you guys, because it is interesting, the information that's on there. So no smell, goes on super easy. It is a gel, so it does say on the bottle, if you're doing like a vertical area, let's just say I wouldn't be able to tip this up, you can put it on a vertical surface and then it'll stay on there. It says to leave the product on anywhere between 20 minutes and two hours. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys when I start to see some action going on here. Usually what you start to see. Okay, I was saying that usually after you put on a furniture stripper, you'll start to see some action. So sometimes with some furniture strippers, they'll foam up. You'll start to see the paint actually separate itself from the wood and bubble. Now with this, with I'm just trying to remove a stubborn finish, you just might start to see, I'm seeing it a little bit here, it gets, I'll do a close up. It almost like it starts to crystallize a little bit and then I'll be able to scrape it and then wipe it away. So on the bottle, it says anywhere between 20 minutes and two hours. So I'll keep checking in and let you know where I'm at. I also wanted to bring up another great point. Anytime you're working with a new product, anything, I don't care, paint, stain, top coats, furniture strippers, always make sure you're working in the ideal temperature and humidity conditions. So I have a digital thermometer down here in my workshop, so I know at all times what the temperature is in the room and what the humidity is. So sometimes when you're using these products, you might be out in a garage where you're kind of open to the elements. So be aware of humidity can cause the product to dry faster than it needs to, um, So or the temperature as well. So just be mindful of your temperature and your humidity. All right, maybe you guys can see it here, a little bit of that crystallization that I'm noticing. It's working at eating the finish off. So I'm gonna let it keep going. It's probably been on five minutes now. To remove the product, I'm simply using a multi-purpose tool. Please be careful if you use one of these. You wanna make sure you don't gouge the wood as you use it to lift that furniture stripper off. Okay, everyone, this is after the first scrape. You can still see there's some finish. See that white stuff? See the glare there? That finish is still there. So I don't know if I didn't leave it on long enough. Um, what I tried to do over here on the cabinet drawer or door instead is when the furniture stripper was still sitting on it, I did rub it with a steel wool. And you can see it's still on this cabinet door as well in area. So I don't know if I need to leave it on longer. I'm going to try a second application. We're going to try that and let it sit a little bit longer this second time. Here at my channel, I keep it real with you guys. So, so far eh, is my impression on this product. Okay, you guys, guess what? It's the next day. I never put on a second coat. Do you want to know why? I'm going to tell you why. 
because the bottle that I got, tisk tisk, the bottle that I got, did you notice it had a clearance sticker on it? It said $8, okay? So I noticed this product wasn't working very well and I got, it got me thinking, I'm like, what the heck? I looked at the reviews of this product. It had great reviews. So then I noticed that mine was white. If you go back, rewind, the liquid is white. Every video that I'm looking up, it has like a tint of like greenish to it, like a green color to it. It's still see-through, um, almost like aloe vera looking. And so mine was white. And then upon looking further on my bottle, it said it expired December of 2022. Not happy about that. So I'm back to the store today. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes that I'm wearing in the video from last night. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> And I returned the bottle. Not only was the bottle expired, they charged me $17.99 instead of the clearance label that said $8. So I don't know how that got past me because I am like the most frugal person ever. Even my daughter was like, how did you miss that? I'm like, I have no idea how I missed that. So they refunded me my full $17.99. And then I went to another Ace Hardware because Lowe's doesn't sell this, nor does Home Depot. So I found a new bottle and it has a dark top. The top that I had was clear. I don't know if that's any indication. And this one says it expires December 13th, 2025. So let's get back to this video. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on a second coat and hopefully this stuff is gonna work like it's supposed to work. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, let's get this on here for a second coat. Now it looks clear here too, but when I look at it in the bottle, it looks slightly like lime-ish, like a lime green. So who knows? Let's get this on here. I'm going to go put my hair up once I start scraping this off. I forgot my hair clip upstairs. So, all right, we got this. We got this. These things happen. At least they corrected their mistake. I appreciate that. But why would you keep expired products on your shelf? I guess they just hope nobody's going to notice. I did. Well, I did afterwards. Okay. We're going to let this sit. I just don't want it drying out. Everything else that I saw online, people said put a really thick coat. But when they said put a really thick coat, most people were removing multiple layers of paint. We have a very thin layer of stubborn top coat on this old piece of furniture that just doesn't want to budge. So like I said earlier, I don't want to take a sander to this wood and scratch it up at all because it is veneer and I don't want to burn through it and make a mistake like that. So. Okay, we're gonna let that sit, do its magic, and I'll touch back in with you guys. Okay guys, now since I got the new batch, that's actually the good batch, this is working like it should. So that first go around that I did, I just had a bad batch of this product. I can see now where it's been working. It gets crystallized um, and it gets flaky where it's lifting the old finish off. So if you could see in that time-lapse video, I was really able to scrape it off really well in this area. And that's what I have in my hand. This area here is still gooey. It's still very wet. So I'm not gonna scrape that off yet. I'm gonna let it still do its magic. And then I'm gonna start on this cabinet door front because I noticed it's looking crystallized. And I'm going to start scraping that, but definitely what a huge difference having a product that's not expired. So I changed now my perspective on this product. At first I was kind of like, eh, it's all right. It's doing a really nice job. And I love, I'm going to tell you right now, I love that there's no fumes. Again, I don't have to wear a mask. I first put a mask on when I was first starting to work with this. There's nothing going on here. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna continue working on getting this old finish off. 
Okay, you guys, I am loving this furniture stripper. Look how clean it's getting, this drawer. There's no shine going on. See how it's nice and dull? That's how I know that finish is getting removed. And then I looked over here. I, I forgot to scrape the edge on this drawer, but do you see that? That's that crystallization that I talk about. That's how I know that that stripper is working and that it's removing the old finish. I gotta scrape the inside here. And just so you know how I get the extra residue off in the goo, I use odorless mineral spirits to clean up. After I've scraped the finish off and gotten most of it off, I take steel wool, and obviously I wear gloves with this um, product here, Mineral Spirits, and I just clean it up, and look how amazing this drawer is looking. I am so excited that this stuff works. <laughs> okay, I am done scrubbing clean these two drawers here, and this cabinet door here, and here's a little tip. Um, do you notice all this edging that I have along this cabinet door? To get around the edges, I use um, soft nylon bristles. You don't want to use the wire bristles because it will scratch up any wood. Um, so I use um, these medium hard toothbrushes that I get at the dollar store. These work great for getting into the nooks and crannies and cleaning those out along with a nice big nylon brush like this. And I was also able to use it you can go here it almost looks like a little owl face doesn't it so cute but i had to clean up in those edges there get the finish out of there and that was a little time consuming but i am so happy with how this furniture stripper is working so much better okay you guys this concludes my tutorial on this new paint stripper furniture stripper i don't know if you pronounce it is it safe and all or just safe and all? i don't know I don't know, but I love it. I love it, I love it. At first, I did not, I did not. I was not impressed by it. I didn't think it was working fast enough and it wasn't eating through the finish. And lo and behold, it was, an, it was expired. So make sure, <laughs> here's my little advice to you now. Uh, make sure you check your products. There's expiration dates. Um, I just assumed if it was in a hardware store that it wasn't expired. So live and learn and I learned a a mini lesson here. So check your expiration dates. I am so impressed with how this has worked. Um, I just have one cabinet door left to strip, which I will do. And then I'm doing a two-tone look on this sideboard and I'm excited to get started on that. I, I'm just, look at this. This this is open. The top of this is open. It's right under my nose. Nothing, nada. So get yourself some of this stuff. I'll put a link below this video description. I did see that you can order it on Amazon, but you can also go to your local Ace Hardware store and they have them there. And for a quart, it runs $17.99. So if you have stayed with me throughout this video, thank you so much. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you double. Thank you double. I love seeing my channel grow. And it just kind of like steadily, like a little choo-choo train. It just, just keeps going and going. And I so appreciate that people leave comments that they're learning from my channel and that they're being inspired. And that's what it's all about here. And you find at times I'm learning with you. So I don't know everything, nor do I pretend to know everything. And when I give a review on a product, I'm giving you my true, honest opinion. I'm not sponsored by anybody, nor do I want to be. I want to keep true to myself. And I've seen a lot of creators, they start out being really authentic and they kind of, they, de they derail. Um, they get caught up in getting sponsorships and they just say they love everything. So I like to stay true to my channel. So if you're new here, there's a subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. You can hit subscribe and you can also go to the main page of my channel and you gotta ring that bell. When you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And here I have two cute little dogs, two cute little chihuahuas. This is Biscuit. Mm, he's my original OG dog. How long have we had you now? You just turned nine. We've had you since 2016. His name used to be Travis. You gotta say it with a twang. We got him out of Texas, right? Yeehaw! Now we brought you up to New Hampshire. You're not so sure about the cold weather, but you got lots of sweaters and a lot of electric blankets. Yeah, you are absolutely spoiled here. Living the dream. 
So I always bring a little dog down here to say toodaloo, because why not? Everybody loves cute little dogs, right? And if you don't, there's something wrong with you. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys have any questions about this product, please drop it in the comment section. If you've used this, I would love to know your thoughts on it. So until we see you guys again, what do we say? We put the pop and we say toodaloo, bye.